Hey, what's up, gamers? It's Swish from 24 7 Sim Gaming, and today I want to help you learn how to use your Lenny's Mod Loader for Red Dead Redemption 2. Clear up a couple issues some of you are having during installation. So let's get right into it and let's start the sim. All right, so we're just going to start this by saying I am going to assume that you already have this downloaded and know how to download these things. So let's go ahead and open up our mod manager. And you want to put the mod manager on your desktop, just like I have it here. And let's pop this up a little bit. Inside of your mod manager, you will see mod manager UI.exe. Let's give that a click. All right, let's have a look at that. And there we are. So this is what you'll see when you open up the mod manager UI.exe. That should not be taken out of the mod manager folder and that should be placed on your desktop it does not go into your game directory so one of the issues everybody is having is learning how to use this and i'm just going to quickly show you but also quickly give you a fix for it we click the second tab here it will show all of our oh let's get that back there Everything that we've had downloaded, you can use this tab to enable and disable any mods that you already have installed. This is what opens up when you click install with mod manager on your modding websites, but we want to stop doing that and let's make it a lot easier. So let's go ahead and locate our LML folder, which should be inside of your download folder that you have and you should have placed that inside of your main game directory. And it should look a little something like this. Let's have a look here. So if you can't locate your Red Dead Redemption 2, it's under your Steam library, Steam apps, hit common, and then Red Dead Redemption 2, and here we are. So inside of here, you should have placed your LML folder. Let's just give that a click. And you'll have downloader and you won't see stream. So the first thing we should do here is open click file or right click go to new drop in folder and we should name that folder stream s-t-r-e-a-m and once we have that done I'll let you know what goes inside of your stream folder so you will see some things that you download including mostly textures hair clothes um, any kind of modifications like that you'll see they want you to put that inside of your stream folder. As you look inside of here, I've got horses. These are my 2K games. So these are upscales on the resolution. And here's another stream folder, but that's for a specific mod. So disregard that. You won't need two of these. And just remember, you locate that Red Dead Redemption 2 LML. And above that, you'll have the downloader. And this is very important. We're going to be using the downloader page to install all of your mods. We aren't going to be using this. You want to get out of the habit of using this all together. So what we'll do is you go to whatever you want to download. That's the Lenny's mod loader install and you're going to download it manually. And I mean regularly, you don't want to use the mod manager and it will give you a zip file that you have to unzip. You'll unzip the folder, place it upon your desktop. And then you'll drag it from your desktop inside of this LML downloader folder. And it will install itself into the game Lenny's Mod Engine. The Mod Loader Engine will recognize it once you've done that. As you see here, I have all these things I've dragged and dropped. And we'll go back to our What's Installed page. And you'll see the same things. Shiny guns shiny guns etc and if you ever want to enable or disable a mod once again this is right here so that's pretty much it for this one remember to always download the files manually like you would do any other script folder type download and put it into your lml slash downloader extract it to your desktop drag it and drop it in here and that is all you need to do and if you like this video, please make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment as it helps my channel tremendously. And I absolutely enjoy doing these for you guys and I'd love to keep doing more. And if you're looking for people to play Red Dead with or get any help modding your Red Dead, please go ahead and join my Discord down below. 
And as always, until next time, take care of yourself and each other.